Hey guys, just going to show you a quick demo of the bidding board. Basically how so far the bidding process works. This is uh, all development stuff. So uh, I've just added a quick button called bidding here. So right here, if you're management, you're going to see basically a, a much different thing than if you're a regular user. So as manager right now, I'm the manager of the Leafs. So the first thing it kind of looks at is your uh, budget. So existing would be existing contracts that carry over. Now this wouldn't really apply for season 17, but I'm future proofing this so I don't have to reprogram it. So in this case scenario, I had it where, you know, the Maple Leafs are on the hook for $6.2 million contracts. So then you have your other categories, bids, and then one. So obviously you have money outstanding for bids. They would be the green ones here, the stuff that you're winning. And then the one would be ones that you've actually won. So how it works is pretty simple. You're going to search for a username. So let me search for, let's just go, is this guy sign up? Okay, so you just type in the letters and it's going to automatically find the users for you. So right there, there's Big 50. Uh, I'm actually losing him and I can see the price for him is $1 million. Everybody else here is 250 because there's actually no bids. So to, to place a bid, you can just click on their name and it's going to give you a confirmation. Now, uh, based on what I heard from Active, he said, what if you want to start a bid at an amount? So if you wanted to start it at, let's say, $2 million. And I'm going to put $2 million on this guy. It's going to say, do I want to put $2 million on him? Click Yep. Bid successful, there's $2 million. Now the player will be notified that there's a bid. Also notice real quickly that all these numbers have changed. So like, let's say I got 12 million, I'm just gonna throw a $5 million bid on, let's say, Red Wing Freak. So I'm gonna put 5 million, so I have 12.5, and now I got 7.5. So you can see all this is growing, it's all proper. I'm gonna actually have hooks. You can't screw around and say, hey, I only wanna throw a $25 bid on uh, B.O. Give me somebody here. Clown boy. Yeah. Sure, want to place a $25 bid? Well, tough. Bid lower than the minimum. And there's really no way to break it because even though what you send to the server, it's always checking against it. Now, I'm going to show you a case where a bid just got overruled. So I got uh, somebody else on a second screen over here. So on Red Winning Freak, I'm going to bid an extra 250 Now you can hear my phone about to go off. There you go, I just got a push notification that one of my guys just got outbid. So if I go to notifications here, another team has put a $5,250,000 bid on Red, Red Ring Freak beating you. So it doesn't actually refresh right now, but if you clicked on that, you would now see, oh, okay, you, you know, your bid was $5 million, but this is what the actual asking price is. I show the amount of bids and the amount of teams, uh, you know, the numbers, so like you can see like if it's really getting heated, you would really know, you know, how many other teams were involved or how many bids. So you just, you know, information for you guys to properly use. You, in the future, you'll be able to click this button if you just quickly want to uh, overwrite the bid. So pretty simple stuff. Like I said, it's all tied into the notification center. So uh, as management, anytime one of your bids either wins or it gets uh, beat, you'll know. Uh, everything here is a live clock, so you can see exactly how much time is left here. See, I got 17 hours till I win these ones. Well, this one expires in 16 hours if I don't if I let it go. Numbers, I've got a lot of locks. Uh, you know, pretty basic stuff. I'll, there's going to be another section here for like what the public will see. Uh, I'll get into that later, but let me know if this is what you guys use for the bidding board. Thanks.